This was also the the major you got Simple's uh, mouse, right? He gifted it. Yeah, you. yeah. This was this was the, this was the weirdest thing because it was a great <laughs> major for me. That it was obviously a terrible one with uh, what happened in my personal life, uh, yeah. my, with, with what happened to my fiance, and then it was also mm -hmm. amazing because my team wins, and like it was <laughs> it was that was just a roller coaster, man. Some some of that's just like blurry, like I don't remember it. <laughs> but yeah, Simple gave me his mouse oh. because um, I don't know. I never asked for it. I never I, like literally. This is the thing. Some people are like, oh, I bet you asked for it. I bet you you, you tell. And I I never said anything to him. He just he won the major. There's a picture of us where we're holding. So when before it's cut to us on camera, because remember the broadcast is going to cue in my ear and say when we're going live. Mm. I'm obviously so excited for them to win. We, me and Simple, hugged each other and we're jumping up and down and we're spinning in circles. Oh wow. And then, like after after we've done the interview and everything, he's unplugging his gear. He's given pieces of other stuff away to pe different people, mm -hmm. and he just comes past me and he gives me his mouse, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I've got I've got the goat's mouse. The goat <laughs> that just won the major, and I've got the mouse." Like I didn't, oh, it, was, it was it was so kind of him. I I love it. I cherish this. I've never used it. I will never play with it. It's gonna sit in a box forever. Mm -hmm. uh, people have offered me money for it. I will never sell it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of curious. How much money has been offered for it? If, if so this is a weird share. story. There was an, a legitimate offer from a Chinese fan for five thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. But then, like, when I kept saying no, he just kept upping the money, and it got to like fifty thousand dollars. But I promise you, I don't think he would ever give me fifty thousand dollars. I think he was just trying to find out if there was a number. Mm, yeah. And then I guess yeah. when it, when I said no to the fifty, I think he just realized, okay, this dude's actually just gonna keep it. And I was like, yeah, dude, I'm not selling it. Like he just kept <laughs> giving me numbers, and I'm like, nope, nope. No, <laughs> I, I explained to him. I said, like, I am the ultimate Navi fan. Um, Simple is my friend, and this is this is priceless. You, this is yeah. the first major they ever won yeah. for Navi yeah. ever as an organization, and and it's from my friend, and it's like, and I didn't ask for it. it just the moment, the the feeling, and how special it was. Yeah, I just it's, it's impossible to put a price on it. Yeah. Some people though, they were like, "Oh, you could just sell any mouse and pretend it's his." I'm like, "Yeah, I don't want to lose my job over that thing. That would be horrible. No, that, I'm just oh, selling okay. off fake simple mouses to people. Why would I do that?" <laughs> Just sell like five. Yeah, these are five. <laughs> <laughs> they will be like, we've got the mouse from the major. And then like, wait a sec. Like, Banks, <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I always, uh, if I if like a friend gives gives me a skin or something, I yep. also like, even if it's like not worth a lot, I I sold one skin that I got from a friend and I felt, felt so bad. I tried to track it down and rebuy it, but I couldn't. Oh, wow. Like, Fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't even sell. So I, some fans have kindly like gifted me skins over the time. Mm. A really nice knife, for example, uh, it was worth about like three hundred fifty euros. And, I, and another thing is, I I I love fans who give us some cool stuff like that. Fine, mm. but also I can get the skins I want to get if I want the skins. You know, mm. like I know they like it because they're like giving you something that you're gonna use. Yeah. But like I would never sell that skin. I, I always say that to him. I said, "You're gonna give me something. I'll hold on to it." There was a guy I did an interview with. Um, it was like not not like an interview like we're doing here on a podcast, but it was um for his university thing. And mm. um, it was like a questionnaire and some information and data and it was going on to his, I think you guys call it a thesis. I never went to university, I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> but it's like some data things he submits. But he gave me a skin from that and then named it like, oh, you were interviewer, um, interview subject number nine or whatever, and named the gun. I'll never get rid of that, that's cool as hell, man. That reminds me of what we did. 